Waypanel is free Blender add-on that I've been developing and using personally since last year. It consists of custom panels, image layer manager, material masking, packing tools, and many more. These are few examples that I created with some help from this add-on. The way panel video series are split into four parts. You can click on these hot links to quickly jump to the part you want to watch. For the first video, I'll explain introductory stuff like installation, add-on locations, along with custom panels. Just one more thing to notice before getting started. Y panel is focusing on workflow and real-time asset creation. So unfortunately, because Cyclist still has limited real-time feature, some of these add-on functions only work on Blender internal and Blender game. To get Y panel add-on, just go to this GitHub page, click clone or download, and just download zip. After the download is finished, open up Blender, go to User Preference, go to Add On Step, click Install from File, just open up the zip file you've downloaded before. Now the add on will show up, just don't forget to enable it and save user settings. Now you're ready to go. Y panel is located in three different locations. The first one is called top panel and it's on the top right of the info window. Just find a triangle and click it to reveal the panel. Next one is bottom panel which is located on the 3D view header. And the last one is side panel. You can find it on the 3D view properties. The top panel is just a simply mode selector but with expanded list, so you will only need one click to switch between modes. I made it this way because I think it's more convenient than having to click twice on the default mode selector. Related to mode selection, I also added new hotkeys, F3 for scoop mode, and F4 for texture paint mode. Bottom panel consists of expanded viewport settings lecture and followed by their viewport related settings like only render, ambient occlusion, and so on. I put all of this here so I don't always need to open up view properties which is where all these options are originated from. I also added additional options like Simplify and Wire. Simplify will override all meshes subdivision level to a value that you can set here. It can be really useful to minimize lag if your model has high subdivision level. Where button is for showing model's wireframe. One click for selected object. Another click for all objects. And one click again to disable all the wireframe. Set panels is where most of the features are at. The first row is same expanded mode selector, like on the top panel. Then followed by viewport settings selector just like on the bottom panel. But now, to save space, there is a gear button that contains the viewport settings. Below that, there are many sub-panels that you can access. Some of these are completely new features, like material of right. Some others are just simplified version of tools that you already use in Blender. The list of sub panels also depend on the current mode you're on. For example, if you're on the scoop mode, 
You can also access tools like Multi-Res, Symmetry, and Dynamic Topology. Materials subpanel is simplified version of the materials tab you will normally find on the properties window. Now it only consists of diffuse, specular, alpha, and shadeless with gear button for each specific settings. On the alpha settings, you can access alpha blend which you'll normally find only when you're using Blender game. This can be really useful to displaying real-time polygonal hair alpha like on this model. Lastly, on the side of material name is an icon for toggling use nodes. That's all for this video, on the next part I will explain about pen slot subpanel, which can be used as image layer manager in Blender. If you like my works, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next video.